everyone should kind of watch what they're doing because they take a lot of rigor to put safeguards in place. But like I said, when you talk about education, we're, the teachers are going to have to change. The teachers are going to have to change. They are going to have to bring AI into every single classroom and have it, and and, and that they're going to have to teach an AI speak. Yeah. Um, so how do they change their curriculums to be a curriculum with an AI base? Mm. And children are learning these days are, are, are very different. I, I don't know that I've ever went to a restaurant and never seen and have not seen a screen in front of a baby or a toddler or a middle schooler at the table of the restaurant. OK, so parents are using, you know, screens as their babysitters in some cases. And, you know, that's where we have to think about, again, there's the good and bad with everything. There's good education from AI that AI can be leveraged and used and should be. And then there's the safeguards. And so you're always going to need to be teaching from the left and right side, good and bad. And uh, regulation is going to help dictate that. You're going to see more stringent in some places than others. And, you know, I, I sit in the U.S. and, you know, uh, right now we're utilizing AI to be, make our government more efficient, but then there's a lot of concern about how open this will be. It's kind of like the old days of book censorship, right? What books get censored or not censored and which ones can be published or not published. Your, same thing's going to happen with it. Regulation is good. And so, so to safeguard the, the population of humans, um, you just, we, it, you're just, we're just going to have to see it evolve. I think AI is happening much faster than regulation can be put in place. So there's that sweet spot of you're going to have a lot of access until you don't. And the government starts to understand what, what, you know, how they want to curate that. Yeah. It's like the early days of the internet where everything was accessible and then they locked it down. And now like Google kind of, is kind of bad. So now people have this LLMs, but once they put on those regulations, they might like if you look up to Anthropic did, Anthropic put in a bunch of these safeguards into their like clog LLM, and then it became like extremely, extremely, extremely silly. Where like you would ask it, hey, can you look at my resume and help me update? And I say, I am not gonna help you lie on your resume. And I'm like, what do you mean? But uh, I'm just asking you for like for some critique. I'm not gonna do that. It's unethical. So where AI goes like 360 on you and like turns into this eth eth ethics monitoring entity. So yeah. The problem is there's so many out there. There's so many out there. Like they, how do you get in front of all of them? Right. And, and, you know, even if they, you know, announce penalties for certain things, it'll take them a long time to find it. I mean, because they have to build the workforce and in order to be able to, to uh, hold the regulation compliance everywhere that they're going to need to hold it. And so they don't, they don't physically have enough people. Maybe they'll use AI to do it, but uh, they physically don't have enough people to, to watch all of that. Well, yeah, eventually it probably is going to be compliance agents and they will fine you for like asking their own question for AI and you'll get like a fine. Imagine <laughs> like you type in the wrong prompts and said they get a $500 fine, then they get a $500 fine. That's